Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life, the podcast. This is Life Coach Marina Young, and you are listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Marina. Today, I want to teach on the topic, the devil discourages before he destroys. In 1 Peter 5, 8, Peter gave a firm warning about the devil. He said, be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. But before the devil destroys, he first um, uh, discourages you. So what I want to tell you today is that you have to guard your heart. Don't let disappointment enter in. Because disappointment is also called hopelessness. And what does the Bible say about people without hope? They perish. The other thing is disappointment usually leads to depression and then anger follows. So we can heal, we can feel the negative emotions or we can try to block them by doing something. We can avoid painful emotions by reading a book, shopping, cooking, eating, watching a movie, drinking, smoking, doing drugs, etc. But it is best to feel the emotions. So try to feel them in your body. Feel which part of your body is feeling the pain. Is it in your stomach? Is it in your chest? Stop and feel the emotion for at least one minute before you try to self-medicate by doing something, by eating something, by drinking something, by smoking something, right? You ask the question, what am I feeling? Is it jealousy? Is it rejection? What am I feeling? All right. Most times, negative feelings manifest as depression. And depression is a surface emotion that is linked to childhood, adolescence, and sibling experiences. A person depressed is like a boat that's being tossed around by every wave or wind that comes along. Guard your heart, all right? Because when you let these things in, You become like a twig that's just been blown by every wind. Every time someone says something to you, then you feel it. You have all these emotions and you can never stay up. Now, another thing that I mentioned before is that anger normally accompanies depression. And anger is more than an emotion. It is the registration of more than one thousand energy fields in your body and it happens when the world does not perform as you expect it to perform right anger is always something that you think that somebody doesn't deserve or something you don't deserve this or somebody had no right to do this or or whatever so again that's a good definition when the world does not perform as you expect it to perform Whenever you feel anger, jealousy, or depression, like I said before as well, try to feel the emotion for a few seconds before you react to it. The more you apply consciousness to your negative emotions, the less they will show up. The same as with the ego. Once you're aware, then you, you it's your first step into getting rid of it. I want to point out something as well, that the lack of self-worth is more often the most uh, where we get emotional pain from. And it does not matter how much you've achieved or accomplished in life. It has no correlation to the outside world. It is the inside experience of insecurity that affects your self-worth. Your emotions are like streetlights. They turn on in the dark. (laughs) 
<laughs> and I mean, this is your dark thoughts, right? So when you have these dark thoughts, then your emotion just comes back, all right? And this is the plot of the devil. He wants you to believe that all is hopeless. And that is why he discourages before he destroys. People who are depressed feel all is hopeless. And that's why depressed people commit suicide. Discouragement takes out your heart. So beat off discouragement and depression with everything you've got. Try to replace those feelings with feelings of love and peace. For example, think of the birth of your children, your happy moments, a beautiful scene you experience, etc. One of my favorite sayings is, good memories can save your life. <laughs> and I got that from the movie, The Punisher. At the end of the movie, you know, the good memories, The Punisher was a movie where these people killed this, this, all this guy's family while they were at a reunion, killed everybody. He's the only one that survived. And at the end of the movie, the girl said to him, like, good memories of your wife and kids can save your life. And it's true. It can save you, right? You know, um, so I will give you a couple of my memories so that I can share with you what I'm talking about. You know, my husband and I were in a cruise and one night we sat and stared at the full moon for some time. We were in the middle of a dark ocean. Everything was black except for the full moon shining on the water. It was beautiful and serene experience. And I recall it often because it made me, made me feel connected to God. The other scene I recall often was on my honeymoon. We went to a beach in the Bahamas and we were the only ones on that beach. And the water was rough and the winds were strong and it was blowing us away. And I had the most amazing feelings of peace and tranquility. I could go on about the memories of the birth of my children, but you get the picture. So you see, we all have memories that we can use to replace those negative emotions. And if you can't remember them or bring them to memory when you're trying to recall, Pull out your album every now and again and look at those pictures. And that is why, again, pictures are so important. You know, they say that you should have pictures all around your home because it changes the atmosphere in the home. Because you're not going to put up pictures unless there were happy memories or, or as your loved ones. So it brings in positive energy. So, yeah, do whatever you have to do. To not let the emotion in a negative feeling of depression or you're not good enough or any one of those things, because that is what the devil wants you to be. That's the place he wants you to be. Once he's got you there, he has got you. Giving up hope. All right. And that is when he moves in for the kill, moves in to destroy you. And I want to leave you with this quote from Dwayne Dwyer that I love. And it says, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. So whatever you're depressed about, whatever you're disappointed about, change the way you think about it. And those emotions will dissipate or replace them with another emotion that is more suitable to your growth and to your evolution and to your happiness and to your peace of mind. So this has been an episode of Five Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. I hope that you were inspired to not let discouragement and disappointment take over your heart because it takes you out. And that's what the devil wants. So. Until next time, namaste.